The Noctua NHD14, widely regarded as one of, if not the best air cooler on the market. This is a six heat pipe dual tower cooler that includes a 140 millimeter fan in the center between the two towers, a 120 millimeter fan on the outside of one of the towers, and then should you so, so desire, I believe you can actually install an additional 120 millimeter fan on the other tower. So this isn't a push-pull, well rather, push-pull-push push configuration, because this one's doing pushing and pulling through radiator or heat sink fins. And uh, down here, make contact with the CPU somewhere in there. You can see that they've cleverly designed the height to be just barely acceptable for high um, high profile memory modules such as the Mushkin red lines that I am using here today. All right, so I have for the longest time wanted to test this CPU heatsink against this CPU liquid cooling unit. So this is the Corsair H70. It is a high fin density, high thickness, single 120 millimeter radiator liquid cooling system. So I can tell you guys right now, any thin low profile radiator uh, system such as a Coolid Eco or an H50 is going to get smoked by this bad boy. I mean, it's fairly simple science at this point. More surface area, far less surface area for the uh, for the thin profile radiator liquid cooling units. So that's that ain't gonna happen for them. But the H70 might stand a chance. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna take the H, well first I'm gonna test the NHD14 on my 4.7 gigahertz uh, Core i7-2600K. This is with a fair, over, fair bit of over voltage, so we've got a fair bit of heat to dissipate here. I'm going to first test the NHD14 in its stock configuration. Then I'm going to take this 120 mil fan, another uh, NFP12, I believe it is, a 1300 or whatever it's called, the, the one 1300 RPM um, pressure fan, so the one with the blades like that, not the other one, and I'm going to install two of those on the H70 and see how it performs compared to the NHD14. I'm very excited about this because the H70 is the highest performance single 120 millimeter liquid cooling pre-filled unit, and the NHD14, as I mentioned before, is one of the highest performing air coolers on the market. So let's see which one wins in this heavyweight tilt. So here I am running eight instances of Prime 95 on my Core i7-2600K, so my max core temperature is 74 degrees and the minimum one is 68, so we're going to call it sort of somewhere in that 68 to 75 now, 68 to 75 degree range on the NHD14. So I just put the H70 with the two Noctua fans onto the CPU. You can see temperatures are a touch higher already. And you have to note that unlike an air cooler, where the heat pipes basically reach their maximum temperature, heat carrying efficiency, etc., right off the bat, a liquid cooling unit actually takes a while to reach equilibrium, where the liquid inside has to heat up to the point where it increases the efficiency with which the radiator can exchange the heat between the water and the air and the higher the temperature of the liquid inside the more heat is able to be exchanged until it reaches a point where it uh, no longer continues to rise with a constant heat load so I'm going to give it some time to see how high it goes but I think we can already see that the D14 comes out ahead with the same fans all right well it looks like we've settled into a max temperature here 88 degrees on the highest core, 81 degrees on the lowest core, running Prime 95, 8 instances of small FFT. And thank you for checking out my video of the NHD14 versus the Corsair H70. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe.